All right, hi everybody. We, this is a this is a banner day for Howler.tv. We have warmed up uh, the interview our interview special mm -hmm. with Bob Clendenin and Arden Mirin. Mirin. Did you know that? It's no. not Mirin. Well, it's Mirin. And uh, but now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring in the big guns. They are known as. Frangela. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no introducing each of you. You are Frangela. I, we learned that a long time ago when we first booked you on Quick Draw because we were trying to figure out the contracts uh, and it was like, <laughs> no, they are one entity. They are Frangela. And, and I was the post-production supervisor on Quick Draw. I don't know if you guys know that. Did you guys know I, that? I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. So I was in charge of credits, and I had to go through SAG to make sure that they signed off on it being Frangela. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> you guys confused the system by two people having one name. Uh, but you are fr Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Just like Frangela meet Howler. Right yeah. There. Oh my God. Yeah. We probably stole that from you guys. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's just great minds. It's the zeitgeist. It's just sort of there. We're like the not as funny duo mm -hmm. version of you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's not true. That's not true. That's well, not true. That's not true. You, listen, you guys are incredibly funny. No, well, you guys are. This is about you and our deep, unabiding love for you. Mm -hmm. Respect for your talent. All right, oh, let me pop, I'll take, I'll take it, it off. Respect. Yeah. Show All us the right. boobs. Yeah, Show yeah. us the boobs. <laughs> All right. Um, but we do, uh, I love you dearly. And it, we had been wanting to work with you uh, forever. Um, Nancy actually was the one who found you first. I mean, uh, it's not hard to find you, but Nancy was a fan first. Huge fan. But that's kind of the way our, I don't know. You, do you guys, as a, as a team, do you guys cover different things? Like, oh... That's something she would cover versus this is something I would cover. Absolutely. You know, Angela is great with the warm and fuzzy feelings and things like that. <laughs> Which surprises people. I know. And they all think it's Francis. I know. But she's like, she does, she's one of those people who thinks like emails for business. So her response is somebody would be like, oh, can you come do this show? And she would write back, great. <laughs> yeah. And then they'd write back, are you mad? Are you upset? Did I insult no. you? And she's like, why are they upset? Why do they feel hurt? I said, yes. And I'm like, you have to say more than that in email because it's written. It looks stark. You have to be like, hey, girl, what's up? For shizzle, we want to do your show. You know how much we love you. You rock. That's, that's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Yeah, but that's Francis. email. That's email, yes. Yeah. Nancy, you know. I, uh, we read every email to each of us before we send it. We read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a lot of emails. Yes, exactly. But John is the warm and fuzzy, and I'm like Francis. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, Nancy's. I can't, I can't keep parking tickets. You, you like when you go through into a parking lot and they give you a ticket, you lose them. I lose them. Okay. Oh. See, I, and that's Nancy. Mm -hmm. We're like we cross pollinate. There you go. Now, exactly. so you guys are are a huge uh, stand up act. Uh, you guys are. Uh, you guys are uh, on TV all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Not just fiction, but nonfiction. Like in terms of, you know, you guys are comedians. You guys are actors. You guys are improvisers, which is really the thing that I am most drawn to. I mean, I love everything you do, but I love your improv. And uh, so Nancy saw you guys, and and she, because in our team, Nancy sort of covers pop culture like what's happening out there and she said these guys are amazing she showed me the tape and so we immediately wrote something for you before we even knew you yeah before we knew you before we knew we could get you but we were just like fuck it and so we wrote these <laughs> uh these characters in an episode and then reached out and you guys were nice enough to do it and i don't think we thought we would get you i just thought you know how like you write towards somebody and you're like well we if won't we don't get, get them, them but you know which i we can't tell you how flattered we were by that because really? you did act like oh we didn't know if we get you we were like yeah really, <laughs> really? <laughs> well you know Especially what we get to do betty and margaret oh. i'm gonna tell you something we had so much best unequivocally best, best show most fun set <laughs> best ever. experience Ever. Yeah. And let me tell you this, you Most know, for, for those people who don't know, you know, before you even go to the set, 
you get to go to this and try on these amazing costumes for yeah, quick time, that's the right? best part all and we want to do is play dress up we yeah. never get to you know as actors that's all we ever want to do is play play props yes to and, and, and a, a western costume that huge yes. oh. oh yeah yeah yes. yes. And everything's authentic. Yeah. Everything was just like, it smelled like the old West, you know? And some of it is like original stuff. Like there was, um, I went for a, a costume fitting there and they put something on me and I was like, wow, this is old thinking. Like it was from like a sixties movie. And she was like, yo, no, that's original 1857 or something like that. Yeah. I was like, what? Maybe they loan that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't waste this on me. That's you know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like being a part of museum quality stuff, yeah. you know, that experience. And you know, so like every time you're watching an episode, there's just a lot of history, just even in the costume. Yeah. So how much were you told about the roles before you came to the set? Like what did you know? Well, then we'd be together. Yes. And if you don't know John and Nancy's like process. Right? Y'all are shady. Yes. <laughs> These people yeah. like surprises. But, but this is the thing. They're nice and funny and cool. Yeah. So you kind of are like, wait a minute. I just got tricked onto a horse. <laughs> well, that's more Nancy than me. I'm the one who says, no, we shouldn't. And Nancy's like, yeah, I'll figure it out. Like, <laughs> the, none of that's like, that's more Nancy. Nancy's gotten, in fact, when we interviewed Bob, he said the same thing. Nancy has gotten me and Bob both to take our clothes off in front of a camera. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent director. I know a money <laughs> shot. You guys on a horse and these guys naked, and that's a hit. That's well, in the water. Movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, we yeah, also... We, uh, she can't swim. Well, all right. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Okay. So you guys came to the set uh, of Quick Draw uh, for season one, and you blew the doors off. Essentially... What we did was wrote a situation where we could just sit the two of you down and have you go. Mm -hmm. And what we didn't know was that Angela, you are a you were a history major, right? Yeah, yeah. I studied history, and which is really helpful in my acting career. I will tell you that your show is the first the first gig to justify my education. <laughs> it was awesome. So she knew, so you knew stuff about Nicodemus, about the whole exoduster. Uh, 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 situation scene, which most history books, uh, white history books, leave out, and it was that was such an awesome experience uh, for me because uh, it was t you know I grew up in Kansas, I knew about Nicodemus, but I didn't know how big a deal it was, and right, African Americans, right. blacks, pe black people know. All you guys all knew about it. Like all the yeah. actors on the set knew about it. The white actors did not, which I found really fascinating. And it was our most popular episode by far. By far. By uh, far. Both ah. years. Yeah. Yes. Both years. Yeah. We, if, if we let us sit there and do what we do, which is talk about people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you two are beloved, uh, and I don't know if you've been on Howler TV. But people, we are selling uh, merchandise on there. I yes. think we, I think we should sell a, yes. a, a Betty and Margaret T-shirt. Uh, shirt. We'll cut you uh -huh. in. Yeah. Think about it. Yes. I love it. Are you kidding? Yes. Um, okay, we still don't know who's Betty and who's Margaret. Right. Yeah. That's also that's what's so funny about it. It's like who gives a shit? Just, so tell us about your uh, experience on the set. So Nancy gets you. So you show up. You get into costume. How much do you know? Uh, in by the time when you're getting your makeup and costume together, little to we know what kind of like we know the setting, mm -hmm. we know an idea, maybe possibly we don't even remember. need a script. No, 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 no. no. There's no, no script. script. We, it's like, I, I think I feel like there might have been a slip of paper. Yeah, that said something like you're a Nicodemus. Yeah, right. you know, you like you. it was basically just like. This is well, and you know, and then we got on set. You was Nancy, you sort of explained. Okay, this is sort of the loose what things that we want to have happen in this scene, sort of. Yeah, yeah. and you're here's, like, here's the the arc. What do you call it? Like an outline. An outline, and here's what's been happening in town. Nancy's great at that. Gave yeah. us a backstory. She'll give you the backstory. She'll say, okay, this is what's going going down, and over here. <laughs> And she's just making that shit up on the fly, too. So it's yeah. it, Everybody is improvising, which is so cool. And I think people don't realize how much of an improviser Nancy is. Uh, yeah. how, she feels like a member of the team, right? But you Absolutely. Never, yeah. In fact, there was a scene where when we were in jail and <laughs> we were talking about Lincoln and whatever. And I guess we forgot that we'd been established as the other political 
like we were in the other were we Republicans first? Uh, you were you were Republicans. Yeah. You were Republicans, Republicans and then you switched you to Democrats. Yes. To Democrats. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not that that scene and somebody said it. Somebody's like, I thought that they were supposed to be yes. um yeah. Democrats. And Nancy went, Yeah, but this is too funny. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> funny trumps so everything. So funny. And and it turned out to be really hilarious. I mean, oh. I just try to sit and uh, I wouldn't call myself an improviser so much as I, I like to see what you guys do and, and get the best of it. Like, all you do is wait for the, the gold to, to come, and then you go, that, do that again, you know? Yeah. yeah. Were you surprised about which things made it in the show and which things didn't? Or did it be? You know, I, the thing about it, when you're an improviser, mm-hmm. you just let, you, you put it out there and it just kind of goes out into the ether. Right. And where it lands, it lands. And so there are times when you're an improviser, you think, oh, I'm having the best time ever or the worst <laughs> right. time, this, yeah. or, you know, the worst time ever. But it's it's how the audience receives it. Yeah. yeah. So you just, you it's like, you really do have to let it go. Yes. And I would love though, personally, I would love a copy of the, all of the footage from when you were interrogating us. Oh yes. my God. That was, that was hilarious. Let me tell you, that was a, we often build an entire show around one scene. Um, <laughs> and, and that show was built around that scene. The idea of putting you two in, of splitting you up. You yeah. know, of splitting you up, but but building, but keeping a, you together. But keeping you together. Yeah. Oh my God, I I could not. You guys killed me in that scene. Yeah. I was exhausted. Get out of that door. And we, it was and hilarious. We had to really, we had to really fight for that plot line because they were like, "Oh, do you really want to have these guys, you know, you, be doing that?" And we were like, "Yeah." Well, yeah. The, you were so <laughs> beloved. Yeah. As your characters were so beloved, the Hulu executives were like, "Why should we put them in jail?" And we're like. We're putting them in jail so that we can bring them to the town oh, so that we, we can make them regulars in the town. Yeah. So I, season three would have been all about YouTube, but uh, alas. We're like, we get to move. Yes. Yes. No, because yes. they, they still get burned out at some point. Yeah. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or they get their own spinoff show. Yeah. How about More that? Than, yeah. Ooh. Now let me. I loved every second, but I, that day especially was so much fun. Oh, I know, God. just messing with you the worst all day. Thing ever and of did. course, there's nothing more fun than calling Eli stupid. Yeah. Remember yeah. <laughs> when we put you on that hill all day? That was the. That was. Oh, okay. oh, let me tell you, we were there with um, Jordan. Um, yeah, Jordan Black. Jordan let me Black. set this up, you guys. This was the rodeo scene uh, for the Nicodemus season two show, and you guys are watching the rodeo, and Nancy shot. The that side of the scene first, you guys watching, and you were on a super steep hill, uh, it's really steep, uh, muddy, and you were in the sun. Okay. Horrible. Uh, uh, things that we as we we yes, they're not our favorite things. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, let I'm me sorry. just say. So, but we were sitting there, but we were with you know all these really cool, funny people. So yeah. Jordan, he, or, I mean, he said the funniest thing ever. He we, we started just he started this like our bit was complaining that, that the black people were up on the hill. Yeah, <laughs> like put us up on the hill. He's like, you know, we ain't nothing but black ground. <laughs> <laughs> He is so ever. Oh, we need to we yeah. need to interview him on this because yeah. he is so He's funny, so man. Funny. So funny. Yeah. That's the thing, like even the thing, like that was a little bit. I guess you'd say physically harder, like in the mornings there. Yeah. It was freezing, freezing. Yes. but you're having a good time, you yes. know. Yeah. And that makes it all like it doesn't bother you, like when you're on a crap set, yeah. you know, yeah. or a yeah. set where people aren't getting along where it's not fun at all or it's anxious and hectic and people are uh, angry then all of that stuff really matters but when you're having a really good time you know the it, time flies, it like, flies that. like that it's that, to get dark and we were surprised we're, we're like, like oh hey the sun's going down i That's remember crazy. we because it was such a big shoot because we had all these bucking broncos and everything um but I had to do a monologue at the end. Do you remember this? And the sun was going down and I had yes. to do it in like three minutes or something. Yes. Oh my God. That was the craziest oh. thing. I was just like, ah, you know, um, cause well, okay. So, uh, so uh, as you know, uh, quick draw is not returning to Hulu, but quick draw w- is living again. And we, we can't announce exact. I'll tell you guys offline what's going on. We're not allowed to tell yet, but quick draw is coming back. So that's the good news. Yes, it is. Yes. 
So that is the good news. But it's gonna it's gonna be in a different format. You just turned it all over. You know what? You just say two white women's lives. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. They're never gonna watch this. You just saved our agents' lives. Yes. All right, but. We felt we fell in love with you guys, and then we wrote another show. Well, we all got together and started developing something together. Mm-hmm. That kind of hit, uh, as lots of development does, hit the pause. We're coming back to that. We mm-hmm. we never say no to anything. We mm-hmm. never say die. But also at the same time, Nancy and I started to develop a, a new show that we shot with you guys mm-hmm. and we can't we it's the loop which we sold to hbo and you guys are the bad guys in the demo that we sold now we don't know how it's going to be developed or what's right. going to happen but talk a little bit about this thing so um nancy and i when we develop a show we did this with quick draw we shoot like a five minute piece uh that we call a demo reel or sizzle reel whatever the fuck you want to call it um, and you guys were kind enough to do this, but you didn't know okay. that it was all on water. Right. Okay. I'm going to put it out on front street. Francis is afraid. Can't swim. I'm definitely afraid of water. Drowned as a child. Oh, and then oh, we show fuck. up to the marina. Yeah. And the whole time we're walking towards the boat. She's like, well, I'm sure the boat's not going to leave harbor. Right. Oh. Why didn't you tell us beforehand? You didn't tell us this. I know. Well, but I just... I Right there, oh. but in the, so we're not going to actually go out the boat. But it gets even worse, right? <laughs> so we're walking. We think we're about to get on a big boat, but what are we getting on? One of them little tiny dingy things. I'm so dingy. Oh my god! I, I, this big. <laughs> I'm sitting in Angela. So she's going to get her mind around being on a yacht oh. right then and staying in the harbor. That was hard enough. But then the little white boy goes, "No, you got to get in this little um one of them little dinghies and ride." It seemed like really far. And can you hold <laughs> this case of water? In the water, because <laughs> we needed going. you. We needed you to bring some of the craft service yeah. to the boat. Oh my God! Like, I love the water. You've and got- it's just whipping me, and I'm just going, "Oh, baby Jesus, baby Jesus, please don't let me die on this boat." I love the water. What was your so- What was your drowning experience? What happened? Uh, a typical bad idea move. What happened was I was a kid and my brothers worked at the park district and I was at a camp and one of their friends thought it would be funny to throw me into the deep end of the pool to teach you how to teach me how to swim. Because that's how you do that. And literally as I floated right down to the bottom my brother came in right at that time and jumped in the pool. He's like she can't swim. I had no idea how to swim. I had a a near drowning uh, childhood experience too. It's, It's the worst. It's like the same as like getting bit by a dog it's like something that you never ever forget yeah. you yeah. gotta tell us this stuff this is that I don't know Nancy, but nancy is a lifeguard i don't know if you guys know this yes okay? she is nancy's a lifeguard and what i did tell her when we got on the boat <laughs> when i tell you it was like having your own personal bodyguard <laughs> she was like director slash bodyguard yeah. for me yeah, I was so concerned. I oh was like, my "This God. isn't funny." Oh, you know? but you know what? <laughs> that demo is so damn good, and you ladies are so. Wouldn't that show be a blast to do? A blast. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Fun. Well, we, and you know what? We would build out a little studio. Yeah, we so now that we, that we know. Shoot some stuff. Oh my! But you know, oh, I could learn to swim for that show. Yes. Yeah. Well, you should anyway, because I you know anyway. you can't have anything. <laughs> But in a proper setting where everything's safe, not in that kind of situation where you're holding a case of water on your lap in a fucking Jacques Cousteau boat. If that show goes, we got to celebrate big time. Yeah, you guys. We, I'm coming off the wagon and getting drunk if we sell that show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, okay, so we're, we're kind of closing and we're trying to keep these interviews. To, I could talk to you literally for um, two hours. But uh, can you tell us what you're doing now? What are you guys up to? You're always doing a million things. Well, we're about to go on the road for several weeks here. Lots of college tours and dates. We're also starting the Sexy Liberal Tour with uh, Stephanie Miller and John Fugelsang. And they have all amazing guests like Aisha Tyler and Margaret Cho and Craig Shoemaker. Oh, my God. We're a huge fan of Margaret Cho's. We we wrote a part for her once, but the show died before we could even offer it. She's... I adore, we adore her. Yeah. So she retweeted one of our tweets one day and I like was a mess. Love yeah. Her. Love her. 
Well, like, you guys, so where's the best way to find out where you're performing and when? Absolutely. You can follow us on Facebook or Twitter at Frangela Duo. Frangela Duo. When, and we're going to put that up. When do you guys go on tour? Because, you know, we want to... We want to use you with st- for stuff. Yeah. First two weeks of February. February. And then we got like a weekend at the end of February. So we're around. Yeah. We'll, you know, we'll be like, no, we can't come. We got to go work with John and Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> and we're it's your whole history month. <laughs> oh, so I, that's our busy time. You Thank you so much for doing this. You two, seriously, are like a national treasure. Yeah. We're, we're, we just wrote another part for you in another show that we're uh, pitching. You probably don't even know yet. Um <laughs> But, Love it. And we want to we want to try to have you you, you know uh, post stuff of yours on Howler TV. We, yeah, yeah, we yeah. want you guys to we eventually set up your own page and uh, do your own thing on it. We uh, would love to. Oh, well, great. you guys, sir, working with people who are you, we would do. It. Please support these two women. Not that they need it, but do support them. Go the out best. and see them. These are there are there's no one else like you guys. There's mm-hmm. no one else Thank like you. You. You, you don't like you guys either. Seriously, that's Aww. true because we're all four completely insane <laughs> in a really, really dark way. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, just, next yeah. interview, we should go there. Let's go there mm-hmm. next time. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Just, well, all right. We love you, and good luck on the road. And I know we're shooting something soon, and we'll tell everybody more about that soon. We are here to take over the world. Hey, you!